Hey everyone! Today we're diving into a really fun little puzzle. One that was actually given to a big group of students. And get this, nearly 90% of them couldn't solve it within the time limit. Let's see if you can do better. Here's the setup. We've got three empty buckets. A 3-liter bucket, a 7-liter bucket, and a 15-liter bucket. And we have a well with unlimited water, so we can fill as much as we want. The challenge is simple. Using only these three buckets, measure 10 liters, 4 liters, and 5 liters of water. But before we jump into the solutions, there are two important rules. Rule 1. All buckets start empty, and we have unlimited water. Rule 2. The buckets have no measurement markings. That means you can't partially fill or partially empty them, and each bucket is either completely full or completely empty. If you want to try the puzzle on your own, pause the video here and think about it for a moment. All right, ready? Let's walk through the answers. Measuring 10 liters. This one's easy. Fill the 3 liter bucket and fill the 7 liter bucket. Pour both of them into the 15 liter bucket. 7 plus 3 equals exactly 10 liters. Done. Measuring 4 liters. Fill the 7 liter bucket. Now pour from it into the 3 liter bucket. Once the small bucket is full, you're left with exactly 4 liters in the 7 liter bucket. That's it. 4 liters measured. Nice and easy. Now let's move on to the real challenge 5 liters. Here's how we can do it. First, fill the 3 liter bucket four separate times. Each time, pour it into the 15 liter bucket. Altogether, that gives us 12 liters. Next, use that water to fill the 7 liter bucket. 7 liters go in, and whatever remains in the big bucket is 5 liters. Exactly what we need. But wait, here's something important. That's not the only way to make 5 liters. There's actually another method. And this is where the problem gets a lot more interesting. We can actually think of the puzzle as a simple little equation. 3 times x plus 7 times y equals 5. In plain English, this equation asks, how many times should we use the 3-liter bucket and how many times should we use the 7-liter bucket to end up with exactly 5 liters? Because we can't half-fill buckets, both x and y have to be integers. In our first solution, we used the 3-liter bucket 4 times, so x equals 4. And we removed 7 liters once, so y equals negative 1. That combination gets us to 5 liters. But that's not the only solution. If we play around with the numbers a bit, we find another one. x equals negative 3 and y equals 2. What does that mean in practice? It means fill the 7-liter bucket twice. That gives us 14 liters in the big bucket. Now remove 3 liters from it three times. That subtracts 9 liters from 14. And 14 minus 9 leaves us with 5 liters. Exactly what we needed. And just like that, we can discover other valid combinations too. Pretty cool, right? Once you translate the puzzle into an equation, it becomes super easy to find every possible method that produces the answer. Now, it's your turn. This time, you only have two buckets, a 5-liter bucket and a 7-liter bucket. Using the same rules from this video, measure exactly 6 liters. If you figure it out, write your method down in the comments. Let's see how many of you can crack this challenge. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next puzzles coming up. Thanks for watching.